We have new information tonight. The Michigan Department of Agriculture and Rural Development have confirmed what the mysterious illness is that's killing dogs in northern Michigan. The announcement comes as the number of dogs suspected of dying has now doubled, going from 30 to 60 in just a matter of days. 13 on your side reporter Keely Lovern has been following the story closely, monitoring updates and talking to dog owners in the area. Keely, what are you hearing? Well, like most of us dog owners, a lot of us feeling fear, but just this afternoon, NDRD confirmed that the illness is canine parvovirus. The virus is extremely contagious and can be deadly, but experts say it's not new. Even as some answers are coming to light, I think the scary part about this whole situation is the unknown. Abby Banner takes her dog Bender everywhere. She's heard of the parvo virus, but was shocked to hear of its impact in northern Michigan. It's just pretty jarring. It's very sad to, to hear that as a dog owner. Bender means so much to me and is a big part of my life. So to hear that so many people have gone uh, through losing their best friend is just so sad to hear. The Michigan Department of Agriculture and Rural Development said that the dogs who died of the virus so far did not have a history of complete vaccination. But some are still concerned because there were some negative tests of parvo for those animals. It's not something that's unknown here in the Kent County and Grand Rapids area. Um, but the difference, I think, this strain is, is coming up with a lot of negative testing and it's it's a little bit different than what we're used to. Like we always take the precautions to make sure that our dogs are safe and so to know that there's this unknown um, that you can't really prepare for or look out for is uh, pretty scary. Scary because this illness is highly contagious for dogs and very resilient. It can live in the soil. Um, it can live in the environment through a lot of different temperature changes for quite some time. Experts say to make sure to clean up after your pet and not allow them to come in contact with other pets' waste. You can even carry it on your shoes without realizing. Because of how highly contagious okay. it is, they don't necessarily have to ingest a large amount of fecal matter. Um, but if they if they ingest that, those the, really the, the particles, that's kind of what kicks that off. The state says the illness is most deadly for puppies and for dogs that have not been vaccinated. So if your dog is all up to date, they say the recent cases should not cause owners to drastically change how they care for their dogs or where they take them. But even still... Bender and I are definitely not going to be going to a dog park anytime soon. Um, probably even after they know what it is, or like how to treat it. Boy or how to prevent him just to make sure that he's okay. Now the canine parvovirus is not contagious to people or other species of domestic animals, but the disease is common in Michigan and is not required to be reported to the state's veterinarian's office.